Hey everybody, it's Craig here again, back in the kitchen, I'm going to do another recipe today. I felt like something sweet today, and uh, it was a recipe that I kind of made up on Monday, actually. I was looking in the fridge and just wondering what to bring in to work, and I thought, you know, I, I really wanted something sweet. So uh, I grabbed some carrots, some apples, and some cinnamon, put it all in the, put it all in the food processor, blended it up, and my gosh, was it ever good. So uh, I'm going to call it the apple cinnamon, apple carrot cinnamon mush. So uh, basically all I did is I took a, uh, about a cup, a little over a cup maybe, of uh, small diced baby carrots and a cup of uh, apple. In my earlier recipe on Monday, I used a uh, Granny Smith apple. Today I'm using a uh, Red Delicious. Doesn't really matter. I just wanted to try something different. And uh, just a little bit of cinnamon afterwards to taste. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? All right, there's the carrots, the apples. I mean, this whole thing takes less than five minutes to make. Go ahead and put it in the food processor. I've got to put it up on a little something higher so everyone can see it a bit better. It's going to get noisy, so here we go. Almost there. Getting into a good consistency here. I'm going to pulse it one more time, I think. One, one or two more times. Okay. That is looking good, my friend. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the bowl. You know what, while it's in here, I'm going to go ahead and put my cinnamon in. Put a couple of, uh, couple of teaspoons full of cinnamon. I guess if you really wanted, you know, you could put some stevia or something in with it. Uh, you know, some other sugar, but I'm not going to do that. It's plenty sweet with the apples, so. Let's go ahead and mix that in there. Mix it up real good. Just about done here. This is a quick little family recipe. I bet you the kids would really love this this one too. You know, they're into eating something that's sweet and delicious. All right. I even had one of the folks at work try this the week, and uh, they're starting to be not they're starting to be not so uh, uh, hesitant about when I want to share stuff with them at work nowadays. In the beginning, it was uh, like ah, I don't know if I should try that, you know, and now it's like. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's try it. They figure if I'm eating it now, it must be good. All right, well, there you go. That's what it, that's what it looks like. Kind of hard, you know, red and orange and little bits of white in there, but now for the taste test, let's see how it did. Oh, my. Mm. Wow. I did myself this time. All right, well that's about it for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post up another video in uh, another couple of days. I was down to see Bill Barlow in Austin last weekend, and uh, that was pretty good. So I'm, I'll post up a video of, uh, of a little talk we had there. And uh, I think in, in a previous video I mentioned that I did uh, my gardening. I planted the garden. That's going really well, except for the fact that I, it looks like I got into some poison ivy. So it never it never materialized until Wednesday and I ended up getting poison ivy all over my arms and stuff and it's uh, it's it's slowly getting better but not so much uh, not so much itching and scratching but I'll be on the I'll be on the lookout the next time you know, when I pull weeds out there that's for sure. Anyway that's about it for now and uh, hope everybody enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment, subscribe and uh, have a good day okay? Take care. Bye.